Welcome or welcome back. If you don't know who I am, my name is Reese, and I would love for you to get to know me. Today we are going to be talking about morning routines as a black woman to reduce anxiety and stress. So if that's something you are interested in, then definitely keep on watching. Hey everybody, I am trying to pivot on this channel a little bit and this is something that I hold near and dear to my heart. So I'm super excited to finally do a video that's not dealing with hair we're rebranding so definitely interact down below in the comments and let me know if you really like this type of content all of that so we're gonna definitely get right into it my whole c career i've struggled with stress i've struggled with depression and i struggle with anxiety and i am wanting this year to be a year of really focusing and creating specific habits to reduce my stress and anxiety and i'm really hoping that this can help you and along this journey you are trying this out with me this video is actually a video telling myself that this is going to be our soft life era this is going to be an era of we deserve everything great happening our cup is going to be overflowing this year our fruits of our labor is going to bloom and i am just excited for both of our futures here in this year to basically conquer our dreams and not be afraid of it and stop doubting our dreams like come on now god gave us a vision and he is not going to leave us behind yes it's going to be hard but he is not going to leave us and this is going to be our testimony together that we're going to overcome this year so yeah that is my little story and i'm going to definitely share with you guys five tips and tricks that i'm going to be doing throughout this year and we're going to be doing updated videos throughout the year as well just to do some check-ins and seeing how we are mentally because this life is hard so in the morning it's imperative to start the day off with a positive mindset morning routines can be a little bit scary and a little bit overwhelming especially if there's other people doing 20 things in the morning where all you want to do is just sleep in and it's like girl how are you doing x y and z all in the morning when you think about it we spend more time thinking about the things we need to do instead of actually doing the things so when i complain about i don't want to work out in the morning because it's going to take up too much time i have to do get dressed i have to take a shower and then when i go to the gym i have to come back and take another shower do my whole routine and then have to do this they have to do the breakfast all of that it sounds like a lot right but then when we're actually doing that what i just explained only takes an hour what i just explained only takes an hour do we have an hour out of our day to just really truly think of ourselves and take care of ourselves just so it can set us up for the rest of the morning to be our rest of the day to be our best selves <laughs> So when we first wake up, we're tempted to sleep in. We're not gonna do that this year. We're going to open up those blinds, let as much sun as possible in. We're going to do yoga. We can do a hardcore workout if you are into that. I believe yoga helps mental and physical at the same time. So if we wanna do something that is going to help our mind, body, and soul, I will do it hands down. Yoga definitely helped me in my morning routines with digestion because i do have some gut issues and so yoga will help you release and stretch out your limbs to help release whatever um build up that you have within your side of yourself it helps you meditate it helps you be one with your mind it helps you breathe and it helps you stretch obviously and the older we get we have to really take in consideration stretching because if we don't then underlining causes like arthritis and other stuff can happen to us and we want to be as healthy 
and thriving as long as we can as long as we're on this earth we want to be able to be healthy health is the number one um reason like the number one thing everybody wants it might be money but health is number one because you can't make money if you're not healthy okay i go on youtube and do my own little youtube uh, yoga classes for like 15 minutes so 15 minutes out of your day of just stretching and being one with yourself can really make a big difference in reducing stress and anxiety <laughs> journaling so i've been falling in and out with journaling for a while and now i have to take journaling very serious because of my mental health i have an issue expressing my feelings when i have something going on with myself i think of a million different reasons why things are not working out for me which does cause stress and anxiety i do worry about the future a lot and i do have a hard time being in the moment being in within today and journaling actually helps with that it's nice to talk about your feelings but you're not a hundred percent true truthful when you're speaking about your feelings because you're worried about being judged so writing and journaling everything down with no judgment definitely helped me in the morning that's journaling throughout the day if i do feel that way but journaling in the morning i mention uh 10 things that i'm grateful for i also write a letter to god basically and that that's my prayer to the lord that helped me reduce stress stress and anxiety and that will keep me grounded in focusing on today like who cares about what's happening tomorrow who cares what's happening next week next month next year later down the year today we are alive today we can breathe today we can see what god has created he created the mountains the water the sky these buildings these people that are surrounding us our loved ones he created it so why are we so focused on other things that are out of our control? So yeah, that's why I journal. <laughs> okay, and so number three is going to be reading the Bible. Uh, most of you that follow me love the Lord and I, kind of try to be not flip floppy but i try to include people who don't believe in the lord um alternatives to seeking him and i believe seeking god is for your own personal experience and i'm just here to share my testimony with you guys so when i speak about higher power when i speak about the universe when i speak about anything that doesn't have the actual word god jesus holy spirit i'm still talking about god jesus and the holy spirit okay you guys i just want to include those that still haven't found god yet but is working towards it and i know and i know it is a journey it was a journey with me and i wouldn't ever want to pressure anybody into doing something that they're not ready for okay but with this this has definitely helped tremendously with my anxiety and stress you guys so i do want to share that reading the bible has significantly helped this morning going to church and going to the right church let's start let's start there going to the right church i know there's a lot of people who are church hurt and i was church hurt and i found the perfect church for myself and i believe it is a journey with you to find the perfect church for yourself but them um explaining bible verses and then mentioning stories makes me want to go back and in the, into the bible and read it for myself and then i read um the book of wisdom of proverbs i love that book like that's one of my favorite books because it talks a, a lot about gaining wisdom things to do within yourself things to work on yourself in order to serve the lord and in order to um become more wiser and that's my goal is always to be wise always to be wise enough to when people come to me for um, advice wisdom i want to say the correct things i don't want to be oblivious and saying crazy stuff that is not of god so 
that's why I'm heavy into that Bible. I really like that Bible because it kind of like makes me look at myself inwardly and see how I am reacting. So many great Bible verses in there and just the book of Proverbs that just definitely uplifts me and makes me know that hey I'm doing the right thing I'm still working on myself and that's all that matters so yeah reading the Bible reading other people's testimonies within the Bible has helped um, I got a specific Bible from Amazon I'll link it below for you guys that Bible has helped me understand stories that seems to kind of be confusing back in the day where it was like art thou and like just language that i can't understand the i believe it's the new living translation that i have that explains in modern times uh the stories within the bible which kind of helps me um you know just understand the word better because i really want to understand and walk in Christ correctly and not just pick and choose Bible verses and you know I want to be like that and so um, reading the Bible helps me reassure my purpose it helps me trust in a higher power instead of my physical self because when I'm depending on just myself I want to crawl into a ball in the bed and not want to do anything for like ever like I just want to be locked into a room and just like give up there's so many times I want to give up you guys but because I read the Bible and I seek the Lord that reassurance keeps me going every day especially especially the days that I do not want to like work like today I was I was almost didn't want to turn on the camera because I was just overthinking, stressed, anxious, like, is it going to be perfect? I'm tired of trying to be perfect. I'm just going to do what I need to do. And I feel called upon helping changing thousands, hundreds of thousands of lives and me not being able to do something because it's not perfect is stopping my purpose. So that's, you know, a little testimony that I'm trying to tell myself, you guys. When I say, when I talk to you guys, I'm really talking to myself too. I look back, watch my videos, and really hype myself up like, girl, you, you are doing it. <laughs> Talking and praying with a friend, family, friend or family member or a significant other. I have my significant other with me that I live with and I confide in him a lot and we pray in the morning together of our goals and it just really sets the day up for success. Yes, it's not always peaches and cream every single day when we do do, do this, but being able to have somebody you can confide to and go through with like makes you not feel alone like just having somebody please don't go through this stuff alone you guys please like if it's a friend like I, sometimes i'm that person who wants to help everybody else and not ask for help but this year i'm asking for all the help in the world i'm asking all of my friends please pray for me please be here please come over and we can just watch movies together like we don't have to be doing these extravagant things every single time you need some you need community and when i say community you need people around you that think like you that you can express your feelings and not feel like you're judged for it <laughs> towards the end when you're heading out to work is taking your vitamins and eating breakfast this can be the most simplest thing but this is so important there has been so many days where I feel like I'm too busy to eat then I get irritated and irritable and then I get sad and then I give up in the middle of the day and I haven't reached my highest productivity because I didn't eat breakfast, I didn't take my vitamins like right now how I'm doing this video I have a headache because I didn't eat as much food as I possibly needed to. I skipped a little bit of snack. I ate a very small lunch. So I know my body, my body needs um, constant food, 
listen to your body you guys and don't skip out on breakfast breakfast is the number one important meal if you skip it the rest of your day is trash okay so make sure we meal prep make sure you have things to where you can create like literally avocado toast it seems like it's, it takes a long time to create it takes me 10 minutes to create avocado toast and avocado toast will keep me good all the way up until lunch we're going to get these things done we're going to make sure our health is aligned and make sure our mental health is a-okay okay um so yeah that is basically all of the tips and tricks that I'm going to be starting to do throughout the year to help with my anxiety and mental health. I hope you follow along the journey with me and I hope you do the same exact thing because I want all of us to be mentally great and prepared to conquer our purpose in life because you know what the devil is going to do is use these things when we're not doing it to slide his way in to get us to have doubt in our mind. And when doubt creeps into our mind, we seem to lose our vision and purpose and makes it seem like, you know what, even though God said we're going to be successful, I just don't know how we're going to get there. It's kind of a little hard. Like today is hard. And you know what? The little steps in life is what is going to create, like the days where you don't want to do anything are the days that are the most important. I didn't feel like creating content this whole entire year. It's January, almost, fe well, it's gonna be February by the time this video comes out. This whole month of January, I didn't feel like creating content. I felt like it wasn't perfect enough. I felt like I'm not good enough. I felt like, I, all these great things that are happening in my life I felt like I didn't deserve even though if you look back at all the hard work I've created these past seven years seven years of putting my head down grinding finally receiving the, a little bit of fruit from my labor and the devil coming in saying do we really deserve this are we even financially ready for this are we, is this even appropriate? Is this what's supposed to happen? Like you start questioning your purpose in life and it stopped me for a quite a long time and I'm so glad I decided to reach out to my fr friends and family. I reached out to a mentor and now I have a mentor and I confide in her and let her know and she's looking at me crazy like, you're amazing you have so much going on in your your life this is just the beginning of the year the devil was trying to get into our mind in the, just in the beginning just so we could trickle off and give up for the rest of the year but that's not gonna happen and that's why i wanted to create this series this morning routine series for you guys and for me to hold myself accountable to get my mindset correct because my body, the habits, everything that I've created is correct, except for my mind. And the mind is what truly is gonna have us give up in life. And that's, I'm keeping 100, that's what really makes us give up in life. And I'm not gonna let the devil win, period. We're not going to let the devil win. And with that, don't forget you guys to like, comment, subscribe, and share. We're rebranding out here. Definitely share your testimony down below. We are in it for the long run, you guys. I love you so, so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.